the brain can be tough to understand. So let's break it down into three main parts that help guide our emotions. The first part of our brain is our smart brain, also known as our frontal lobe. Our smart brain helps us with things like reading, writing, solving problems, thinking clearly, and even with how we communicate. The second part of our brain is our emotional brain. The emotional brain is in charge of the storing and sorting of emotions and memories. The third part of our brain is the survival brain, also known as our brain stem. This part of the brain is responsible for our body's basic functions. Things like our breathing, heart rate, movement, sleep and more. It can help our bodies respond quickly in dangerous situations to help keep us safe. But when we feel really strong emotions, our smart brain can go temporarily offline. This is so our emotional brain can focus on sending messages to our survival brain to respond as quickly as it can to help keep us safe. This can be really helpful for keeping us safe when we're in danger, like if we came across a bear and our body needed to respond quickly without having time for the smart brain to think it through. But our brain can't always tell the difference between danger and when we're just feeling really big emotions like stress. So while the smart brain turning off can be really helpful in certain situations, like needing to run away quickly from a bear or an angry dog, it wouldn't be so helpful in times when we have big emotions. In those times, we need our smart brain to help us think clearly, like when we have a test coming up or have to give a speech. A big part of being able to manage our emotions is learning how to notice when our smart brain is about to switch off and finding out what we can do to keep the smart brain switched on.